Good morning, everybody. This is Donald Bunda, Hall of Fame veteran, sports cards and collectibles. Coming to you live with this episode 13, Throwback Thursday, Leaf 1992 Series 136 pack opening. We're going to be opening up a box of 1992 Series 1. Awesome mess. Hopefully you're ready to have a fun-filled day today. I've got a whole bunch on the lineup today. James Phillips in the house. First in the live chat. You've got a free entry. The Bipster of all things. Good and Godly is here with his first entry. Let's see how many people can pop in by 10.02. The first one in at 10.02 will get their free entries. So far we've got James We've got Socializing with Sonia. We've got the Bipster of all things good and godly. Let's see, so let me get in here. James Phillips. Let me start making a list here, make it quicker today. You got a lot on the docket. Bipster. Sonia, I'll just do Sonia, I know who that is. So we've got, uh, doo -doo -doo. we got Pipster as in here. Don't forget to like the live stream on your way in. Ken Griffey Jr. was a beast also, yes he was. <laughs> I'll tell you why those are on the screen in just a minute here as we get through. Got Bipster, one, two, three. I think, Bipster, you might be maxed out for this morning. Yep, you've got your five, Bipster. James has one, two. James has two. Socializing with Sonia has, uh, let's see, Socializing with Sonia has one entry, two entries, three entries, four entries, five entries. So Bipster and Sonya are maxed out at five apiece. James, chat, type something in the chat really quick before 10.02. Before 10.02 is over there. Uh, and you can get a couple more free entries. You can get up to five free entries for first in the live chat in the first two minutes. So... Pop in there real quick, James, if you can, for another chat or two. You've got, um, let's see, I think you've got one entry so far. Two entries. James has two entries. Okay. So that's 12 free entries for this morning. There you go. James snuck in with another one at least. See if he can do it quickly before I'll give a little bonus today. And what is going on with my pen? Get me everywhere. I don't, I don't have nothing leaking down in here, do I? No, it's just me. I probably was writing on myself. I got ink all over my hands. <laughs> my word, I just hopped out of the shower, too. <laughs> you can take a kid out of the candy store, but you can't take this candy store out of the kid. All right, we have 10.03, so we are maxed out. So James Phillips gets three entries, Bepster gets five entries, and Sonia gets five entries for first in the live chat. Matt Simpson's in the house. How you doing there, Matt? Thanks for stopping by today. We are going to have fun in the stream. Let me get the free entries into the Wheel of Names for the month of June. Give you an idea of what went. Man, I can't believe I got all that ink all over my hands. What? It's, oh man, it's somewhere on the pen. Oh my word. Don't mind me. My word, I've been inkified. I've been inkified. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, let me get um, Bipster with his five entries quickly. Get Bipster in here. All right. Let me get Sonia. 
I know Sonya was in here. Where's Sonya at? Oh, maybe this is your first. Yeah, this is. This is Sonya's first entry this month. So let me get Sonya in here. Socializing with Sonya. Oh, hold on. There we go. Get the whole name here. All right, let me get Sonya in here five times. Then we'll go over our content schedule for today. Okay. Then I will get James Phillips in here for his three entries. There's one for Sonya. Two. Three. Four. And five. All right. And then let's get uh, James Phillips. James Phillips with his three free entries. Okay. Uh, one. Two. And if you do get a chance, check out the pinned comment I do have in the chat for today. We save this and I'll give you an update. We now have reached our first tier in the month of June giveaway. We have 106 entries. So at least in the month of June, there will be at least one entry. Or one, one giveaway, that's for sure. Okay. So let's see. Amen on the candy store. I did get a couple of cubs in those packs, too. Oh, did I, what did I miss for Matt? Hello, everyone. Hello, got my package today. Thank you. Uh, love the packing of my cards. Oh, no problem there, James. I always aim to please. Being in, being a ex or retired postal worker, I know how to package products so that they'll get the people in good shape. 99% of the time. I cannot control how the post office handles the package on their end, but I can pack it the best I can for what I know working behind the counter. <laughs> All right, so we got a couple minutes here. Let me explain what we are going to be doing today. So we are going to do the, the, the Leaf 1992 edition, Series 1, full box right here. We will be doing that. Second, um, and then third, we'll be opening up the Heritage 2021 baseball uh, blaster box. Okay, and then um, we will be doing the Bipster box, but we will be doing initially just real quickly a mini mini preview is what I'm calling it a mini mini preview if you look in the description of the video I go into a little bit more detail I could not add everything into the title they only will limit you to 100 characters and your title for your video so if you do read the description of the video later you will see a full description as to what's on the docket for today I blame John Fishman for the ink. Yeah, he probably sabotaged my pen somehow. I don't know how he did that, but I think maybe he did have something to do with it. But I can get rid of those for now. We are going to have some fun today, but we will do the mini, mini preview first. I'm going to set this aside for now, and I'm going to set the blaster box aside for now. Okay. We'll set the blaster box aside for now, and we will go through the mini mini. Um, so my mini mini, just to give you a heads up on the order that I've got it in here. Yeah, you can see I I got my 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 hand got inkified. Good thing I have top loaders or to, uh, uh, slabs on a couple of these cards, and definitely everything is top loaded, and there is a hard case in here. But we will go through this. Apologize for the the ink on my hand. It even got on this hand too because there was ink every which way. Uh, you get everything ready. You wash your hands up. You take a shower and you clean, and then you get into the 
into the into the studio and that's when things go wrong. I almost want to go into the other room and clean my hands really quick. Tell you what, as soon as it's 10-10, I'm going to go do that real quick because I don't like looking like this. I'm going to go and see if I can soap my hands up and scrub off some of this ink in, in, in my, uh, my walk-in closet. No, not the walk-in closet, but the master bathroom suite. So it is 10.10. I will be right back. Let me go take care of this real quick so I can feel better. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that. Sorry I wasted two minutes of your valuable time here. How is every everyone's team doing this year? Uh, as expected. <laughs> as expected. Okay. So, um, the way I do have these in order, except for the 1991 score of the franchise, Ken Griffey Jr., and the 2020 uh, Crown Royal Feature Attractions February 10th, 2000 The M's Deal Slugger to Cincinnati So yes, he did become a Cincinnati Red But that's okay And then you're probably wondering What is that card there? Well, that is a Ken Griffey Jr. One of One card This is a one of one you're thinking, wow, that's a one-on-one. It don't look like it's super special. Well, it is because it's an artist's uh, proof. And it is a one-of-one one serial edition, Ken Griffey Jr. from September 13th, September 13th, 2020. And the signature of the artist, original art, one of a kind. I was able to procure this from the artist, so I thought it was a special, definitely a special card to get into my Ken Griffey Jr. collection. So that's why I added it here. So we'll put this together with this lab. There, I can almost put it like that, and it looks like it's an artist proof one of one, but only scored a one, a 9.0 mint from this advanced gradings lab. And then, of course, this is a score. PSA, Ken Griffey Jr., The Franchise, with the Seattle Mariners. All right? My Padres are okay. That's right. You're root, root, rooting for the Padres this year, aren't you, Bipster? So I'm going to set these cards right there since I previewed these. Uh, actually, I'll put that on there as a PSA. It'll look like it's a PSA slab, right? <laughs> 
a near mint mint eight. All right. <laughs> and then we're going to go through this stack of top loaders. Again, this is my mini, mini preview. I did get most of the ink off. That's not ink there. That's where I smashed my thumb and it's starting to grow out. But now I got most of the ink off. It doesn't look as bad except for that splotch right there. All right. So we're going to go through this mini, mini uh, preview of my massive my absolutely massive Ken Griffey Jr. collection. These are just some of the cards that I have top loaded, not my thousands upon thousands that I have in my count boxes. Uh, I can't believe my Cubs played so well against the Padres. Yeah, I saw part of that game yesterday. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, I do watch baseball on occasions, as we all should since we love the sport of baseball. But we're going to go through some of these. This is actually on the top here is a pre-rookie card for when Ken Griffey Jr. played for the San Bernardino Spirit. Ken Griffey Jr. Outfield card. Okay. This is a 1987. It's actually when he played. Uh, he, he was with um, San Bernardino and Bellingham in 1987. So this is what you would consider a pre-rookie card. And it is a card number 34 out of this uh, small set here. Okay. Then we have the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. This is a 1989 Ken Griffey Jr. It's probably not an official Ken Griffey Jr. rookie, but it is from Pacific Trading Card, which is a local company that was based out of Linwood, Washington. And it's uh, an advertisement for his milk chocolate bar at 1.5 inches or ounces or 4.25 grams. And this is just pretty much like an advertisement card for Ken Griffey Jr. First Major League at bat, April 3rd, 1989. First Major League hit, April 3rd, 1989. First Major League home run, April 10th, 1989. And the first Major League stolen base, April 15th, 1989. So, these chocolates were available at fine stores throughout the Northwest. All right. So, next up to bat here, we have a Ken Griffey Jr. MVP card from 1990 Leaf. Next up to bat here, we have a 1990 Ken Griffey Jr. checklist card. Checklist card. Okay, 1990 Pinnacle. Then we have a post-1991 Collector Series, Ken Griffey Jr. with the Seattle Mariners. And this is card number 11 of 30 with a facsimile signature on the bottom back of the card, 1991. Next up to bat here, we've got a 1991 Don Russ, Ken Griffey Jr. All-Star card. Okay. Then next up to bat, we've got a Cooperstown card from Score 1991 of Ken Griffey Jr. So you'll see as he's progressing through the years how he won't look as young as when he first started. That's why I decided to put this mini mini set in uh, age sequential order as you'll see him growing and maturing. All right, that's even early back then in 1991 you can see where he said this could be a Cooperstown card back in the day early in his career and then this is a Studio 91 card Ken Griffey Jr. center fielder for the Seattle Mariners and then next here I have a Foot Locker card limited edition Ken Griffey Jr. card from 1991. Okay. Next up to bat here, we've got a Ken Griffey Jr. father and son. You can see Griffey here and his father back in the background there, hiding out. This is a mother's cookie card from back in the day, card number 104 from the 1991 Mother's Cookies Company. Do give a spot on the back here where you could get him to autograph your card if you were able to. 
Then we've got a 1992 Leaf Series 2 Gold Gold Edition card. Okay. Next up to bat here, we've got a, you wonder, okay, this is an upper deck, Jay Buhner with the Seattle Mariners, but you can see Ken Griffey Jr. is in the card with him. So this is part of my Ken Griffey Jr. collection, even though it's a Jay Buhner card. You can see the key look, the kid looking at Jay Buhner saying, come on now, you know I'm the star. What you gonna do like that to me for? <laughs> That's my way of captioning the card. And then this one here, I could not find the year on it for sure, but it is a Topps Gold card of Ken Griffey Jr. You can see it's a little bit sparkly back in the day. For and I believe this look, I believe it was a 1992 Topps Gold card number 33. But that's the best I could get on this one because that's the oldest date they show on here. He achieved his personal best in 1992 by batting 27 home runs with 103 RBIs and compiling a 535 slugging percentage. And Kent earned his third consecutive All-Star selection last year. And he was named MVP of the Classic at San Diego on July 14th. So, boom. That's a nice Topps Gold card there. And then next we have here a Topps Stadium Club Member's Choice card. A Topps Stadium Club Member's Choice card of Ken Griffey Jr. from 1992 Topps Stadium Club. And then this is pretty much the base card from Topps Stadium Club for that year. It is card number 400 with Ken Griffey Jr. and it shows a facsimile or a photo of his rookie year from 1989 tops. Okay. Then next up the bat here, we got a collector's choice 1994 collector's choice upper deck with a silver signature on it. Back in the day, they made uh, base cards did not have anything on it. Then they had the silver signatures and the gold signatures. I believe I might have the gold, but I don't know for sure. Um, hold on a second. I just noticed I have two cards in here. Maybe this is... Yes, this one does have both in there. So I guess I could just uh, display it this way. Why'd you do that, Ron Ball? <laughs> there we go. Now I got it displayed. I should display it this way. There is the signature, the the silver signature, and there is the base card, back to back, base and silver, back to back, base and silver. Okay. All right, next up to bat here, we have the uh, Top Stadium Club Dugout Dirt, Ken Griffey Jr. These are the, the comical ones on the back, a 1994 card number 7 of 12 in this mini subset that they had. Then we have a, another checklist card, oh, 1997 Ultra Fleer, Ken Griffey Jr. Checklist. Card number 3 of 10 on that one. Next we have the Pinnacle 1996, which should go... No, I think this is probably a 1997 also. No, this one is in 1996. I'm going to have to reverse the order on this one. But a Pinnacle Ken Griffey Jr. first rate card. Card number 1 of 18 in that mini set. Put the 16 down here and the 17 up here. And then let's see, this one is also a 1996. That's a 96 also there. So I, I think I did have these in order. This one is a Titanic Taters Ken Griffey Jr. back in the day when they started making the newer ones. These, this one, if you flicker it, it does look 
pretty, pretty shiny for our Ken Griffey Jr. Titanic Taters. Card number 3 of 18 out of this score product. Then also we have a Pinnacle 1996 Ken Griffey Jr. with his batting average at uh, 300 or better and it's .3018 for this Ken Griffey Jr. and it is card number 301.8 is the way they numbered those cards in that set. Then we have a Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, 1997 Ultra Flare Ken Griffey Jr with the Seattle Mariners. All right. Then we have Ken Griffey Jr. with the Seattle Mariners Top Stadium Club Super Skills card. Insert. Card number 11 of 20. Next we have here is a Ken Griffey Jr. Pinnacle Certified Probably a refactor back in the day. It says peel off here. Ken Griffey Jr. Card number 136 in this set. Certified stars. Oops. And then the next card we have here is, oh, let me straighten this out a little bit, make it presentable. A Topps Gallery Ken Griffey Jr. from um, 1997. Then next here we've got a uh, Power Plus Ultra Fleer type product from the Seattle Mariners. This is also another 1997. Let me get a sip of water real quick here. I've never seen the Titanic Taters cards. That is cool. All right, now we'll go on to this one here before we get into, uh, I believe, closer to the 2000 type era cards. This is a uh, leather and lumber card. Uh, FLIR 1997 leather and lumber. They did start the leather and lumbers pretty early. And that's a neat type of set when you do see those. And it's a uh, lumber company, Ken Griffey Jr. on the back. It is card number 9 of 18 and that subset. And then we have, I think we're getting close to the 2000 era here. I believe this is a 1998 Upper Deck Opening Season Superstars card from Ken Griffey Jr. Alright, and then of course here we do see the Cincinnati Reds starting to show up. So it was in 2000 when Ken Griffey Jr. went to the Cincinnati Reds. So this is the first Cincinnati Red in the series here. And this is a 2004 card. I do have more of Ken Griffey Jr.'s with the Cincinnati Reds, but no more, or not as many as I do with, of course, the Seattle Mariners, who he started with. This is a Ken Griffey Jr. Topps, Allen and Ginter, the Dick Perez collection. And this one is from 2006. This is a Dick Perez card, 206. And it is number 7 of 30 in that subset. All right, and then we have here a Ken Griffey Jr. American Hero short print card. 363 out of 725 with the Mariners and it's this one's got a date of significance on this card it's September 14 1990 against the Angels Junior and his father became the first father-son combo to hit back-to-back -back home runs so that's uh, an awesome uh, American hero card when him and his dad hit back-to-back -back home runs all right and next up to bat here, we've got a Allen and Ginter, the, the United States of America, the state of Pennsylvania, Ken Griffey Jr. card. For those that don't know, Ken Griffey Jr. was born in Pennsylvania. And then we've got the back of this card, state of Pennsylvania, U.S. number 38, Ken Griffey Jr. with the Cincinnati Reds. Okay. 
And next up to bat here, we've got uh, a Ken Griffey Jr. newer card, but with the throwback Seattle Mariners uniform on it. It's an Upper Deck product from 2009 Upper Deck Baseball Cards. Card number 855 out of that set. Next up to bat here, we've got a relic card. I do have a lot of relics, it's just I didn't dig them all out. This was a, a stack I had off to the side here that I've been thinking to preview one of these days, but that is a Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, Spectrum Swatches from 2017 Upper Deck when he actually was traded to the Chicago White Sox before he retired. It says SS-GR Authentic Jerseys. Congratulations, 2009 Upper Deck Spectrum Baseball. And next up to bat here, I believe this is all newer product. This is a 2018. This one is a 2018 Panini product with a Ken Griffey Jr. on it. Okay, I'll let you know when we get up to the 2020s, which that's all the rest are going to be 2020 with a couple 2021 cards in it. Game, our, our members game, a numbers game. Griffey of course, was number 24 with the Seattle Mariners. And this is an NGC 10 with a 2020 tops. Then this is a 2020 tops blue border, Ken Griffey Jr. Not serialized, but an all-star for Ken Griffey Jr. I gotta pay attention here. We're getting too close to the camera. <laughs> All right, so that is a 2020 85 throwback. Next up to bat here, we do have a uh, Ken Griffey Jr. Thri triple Threads from 2020. A Ken Griffey Jr. Triple Threads 2020. Okay. Spend a lot of time on these. They're newer cards. A Hall of Fame Tops Gallery from 2020 with Ken Griffey Jr. That's a pretty sharp looking Ken Griffey Jr. card there. HOFG-19. Okay, then we have a Topps Chrome Ken Griffey Jr. from 2020. Topps Chrome product. Then we've got a the throwback. I've got the base here. Seattle Mariners with outfielder for Ken Griffey Jr. Card number 153. Then I've got the variation of that same model, short print version. Number 5 out of 175. Same card, just a variation version. Okay, then I've got the gold. The gold, Ken Griffey Jr. 12, uh, 1353 out of 2020 from the 1999 Home Run Derby. Then we've got a couple of the... Uh, this is, oh, this is a 2020 um, MLB, 1992 MLB All-Star Game, Ken Griffey Jr. We've got a mini Ken Griffey Jr. Tops 206 from 2020. Then we've got a score, older style throwback, I believe this, yep, this is 2020 Panini product. And I believe this one is from this year, 2021. Yep, this is the only card I have in this stack from 2021. The, the little 70 die cut uh, platinum players. And then the last one here is not a card, but it is a, what I call a no number card from back in the day. This is a little CD. And you could actually put this in, a, in your computer and it will have some video clips on there of the kid. So that is an upper deck mini CD, I would call it. It's a mini CD. You can see the back of it here. They did make these back in the day. I, I couldn't really see the year, but I could probably look it up and find it. I believe it was from the, well, it had to be right around 2000. Because his number was 30 when he was with the Cincinnati Reds. And that was cool, cool there. All right. 
So that takes care of my mini, mini preview for Ken Griffey Jr. Hopefully you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. Okay, so I am going to put this off to the side. And I'll probably move the Bipster box out of the way for now. And then we'll get ready to open up this leaf product. I think I can do it right here to, to bring it a little bit closer to the action here. Let me set that there. Let me put this stack of cards back here. And I'll put that near my holdout where I have my... Uh, I have a shoebox with the nicer Ken Griffey Juniors in it. I've got a couple of... I think I got two... Yeah, I got two 3,300 count boxes and one, two... Getting close to three 5,000 count boxes. So I've got a lot of Ken Griffey Juniors. I just got to get them put in order. So without further ado, let me move that out of the way. Let me move the Bipster box for now. I'm going to set the Bipster box out of the way for the moment here. And we will get ready to go into our content at hand here. Of course, the one card that I wouldn't mind pulling out of the Series 1 here, when we get into it here, is the... Uh, is the BC3 uh, Pedro Martinez. That's what I really like to find out of the box here. We're going to open this box up for our Throwback Thursday. An unopened Leaf Set Baseball. 15 cards per pack. Look for randomly packaged Gold Leaf Rookies and Gold Edition cards. I believe there's a Gold Edition card in each pack. So that means we should get 36. We could get robbed one time in those packs, but those were not in a box, but there was 37 packs we went through in Series 2. I know I kind of did it backwards. That's just me thinking, because I wanted to open that because they weren't in a box. This one is in a box. And then down the road, I might sponsor a break of... Let me make sure I give you the right information. It's the 1991 Leaf Set... Series, uh, series two. So it's the Leaf Set Series two. Um, since I do have the complete uh, 1990 set and the complete 1991 set, which I uh, I previewed through the binder I have of the 1990 set. So my goal with this one here, with the Series one. Um, is to see between Series 1 and Series 2 that I opened to see if I can get a complete set. If not, I might have to procure a couple of base cards to complete the set. So that's my main reason for doing this one here. Uh, looking forward to your vlogs from Yellowstone. As I'm going with my family in 2023. Definitely a bucket list vacation. There you go, exactly. That's why my wife surprised me and she said, let's go to Yellowstone. I was like, sounds good to me. I've always wanted to go. I've never been myself. So it'd be nice to get there before it gets too late. But yes, I'll be doing that. I take it at least somebody read my pinned comment. Somebody read my pinned comment. Sorry, no live stream this Saturday due to my wife's retirement barbecue celebration on this day. I will be trying, oh, I forgot one L, be trying to do some live streaming from Yellowstone National Park while we are on vacation. So yeah, I will, I'm, I'm, I'll have my regularly scheduled content that goes up, um, which will be uh, uh, Sundays, uh, my Monday historic meal, and my um, Thursday uploads. Those are already scheduled things so I will try and do something on Tuesday some Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday while we are in uh, Yellowstone Montana or Idaho uh, so yeah we're gonna go on a nice week long road trip and have some fun that'll start Monday morning we're gonna depart from the Seattle area and drive east through uh, Washington into Idaho, into Montana, where we'll be spending time in the hotel in Montana. Uh, we'll be stopping one night in Missoula, 
and then continuing on to Livingston, uh, Montana, and then we will be about an hour's drive north of uh, Yellowstone National Park. And that's where we spend, hope to spend a couple of days in Yellowstone uh, Park, going in and out of the park as we are there. So, um, but yeah, we're going to start off things here now. We are a little bit over, but I didn't mind doing it. A little extra longer stream today since I won't be streaming on Saturday. So without further ado, is there any other questions on my upcoming schedule? All right. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, I'm going to do a real quick refresh on the chat, and then let's get ready to open up this box of Leaf Baseball 1992 edition, and let's have some fun. Go on through these cards, see what kind of gold edition cards we can find. Sorry, not being very cooperative here. Okay. I will set this up like I usually do when I open up a box of cards, for sure. I like to act like it's in an LCS shop. So that's why I take care in opening it. So I can take the loop paperwork off here. The packaging. And you can kind of see with the little leaf emblems on here that this was a, a sealed box by a leaf. So hopefully we have some good product here. There are the, the packs of sweetness there. Let me put this here. Dipster kind of knows what I'm doing here, I think. If, if he's still hanging out with us. Dipster might have taken off. I don't know for sure. I don't see Dipster in the chat. There we go. Um, let's see. Get this here get the boxes here or the packs here and let's start gripping and ripping these okay got that set aside for now let me put that down there and let's start gripping and ripping into some leaf set baseball card baseball 15 cards in a pack 1992 edition series one let's read the back and it should say on here New for 92, a 528 card version of the 1992 Leaf set featuring gold foil and gold metallic ink instead of the traditional silver. Look for one Leaf Gold Edition card in every pack. And of course you can find the, uh, the Black Gold Baseball Hall of Famers and the uh, Gold Rookie Baseball cards. Okay? I forgot I was watching the stream. Oh, that's okay there, Vipster. I figured you were out. Maybe maybe you were out for a walk again with your turtle. I figured maybe you were out for a walk again with your turtle. But I can always be wrong. All right. There definitely is not much to each. So let's see who we can find in here. We got Bud Black. Bud Black. Oh, that was kind of nice. Okay, I should have turned it over and we got our, our uh, gold edition card for Bud Black of the San Francisco Giants. Was our first gold card. Instead of saving it for last, I should have flipped over the pack. Bobby Thompson with the Giants. Uh, Charles Nagy with the Indians. Uh, Scott Servius with the Astros, Scott Livingston with the Tigers, Tom Gordon, D. Gordon's dad with the Royals, Andy Baines with the Padres, Doug Henry with the Brewers, Reggie Jefferson with the Indians, David Cohn with the Mets, Kirby Puckett with the Minnesota Twins, Bud is Black Gold. Yep, Bud is Black Gold. <laughs> Bud Black is Gold, laugh out loud. Yep, Bud Black is gold. BBG. Kirby Puckett 
Hall of Famer with the Minnesota Twins, Pat Kelly with the Yankees, Marvin Freeman with the Braves, um, Ricky Henderson, Hall of Famer with the Athletics, and Gerald Perry. Gerald Petty. And that rounds up our first pack. On to pack number two. You can kind of see I'm digging through them there. At least now I think I know how to open up these packs now that we opened up the first one wrong. Okay, I'm not going to play with this. <laughs> I'm going to do my famous let's trim off the top because I don't feel like fighting with this foil the whole time. There we go. Now I know how to open these up. So we've got Norm Charlton. Norm Charlton with the Cincinnati Reds. We've got Harold Baines, Hall of Famer with the Oakland Athletics. We've got Howard Johnson, not the hotel chain, with the Mets. Jim Abbott with the Angels. Joe Oliver with the Reds. Mike Musina with the Orioles Hall of Famer, Roger Clemens with the Red Sox, Rex Hedler with the Cardinals, Kevin Appier with the Royals, Tim Raines Hall of Famer with the White Sox, Andy Van Slyke with the Pirates, uh, Mark Lewis with the Indians. Let's see, he got a gold card on hand there, like we're supposed to on each one. Gerald Clark with the Padres. Uh, Bill Gullickson with the Tigers, and Thomas Howard is our gold edition card. Thomas Howard. Okay. We'll put him right down here. Move on to pack number three. Let's score the top here. I forgot I gotta go this way. And that way we won't see the gold card till the end. My wife is vacuuming. Willie Randolph with the Mets. Roberto Alomar with the Blue Jays. Greg Olson with the Braves. Sam Horn with the Orioles. BJ Serhoff with the Brewers. Jeff Montgomery with the Royals. Bill Wegman with the Brewers. Oops. Those two cards were kind of sticking together. John Haven with the Yankees. Scott Cooper with the Red Sox. Jose Lind with the Pirates. Willie Randolph with the Mets. Dave Henderson with the A's. Dean Palmer with the Rangers. And we've got a Gold Leaf Rookie card, Matt Stairs. Matt Stairs with a Gold Leaf Rookie card, BC8. The one we're looking for is BC3, which is Pedro Martinez, which is an uncorrected error card. It has his wrong birth year on there. And the, the black gold is Thomas Howard. Oh, that is cool. Thomas Howard. A Fairfield double. <laughs> I don't know if I like the collation on here. Do you remember this, Bipster? Was the collation pretty bad on the top, on the, on the leaf sets? <laughs> A Fairfield double for sure. That was a uh, pretty, pretty strange there. <laughs> All right, let's go through here and um, may have to mix things up a little bit here. Let me shift this over just a hair. If I can make enough space over here, I might put my excess overflow cards here. There. How's that look? Can you kind of see that where I'm taking the packs from? I think this might work out a little bit better for me this way. That way when I get through my stacks I got a reserve spot over here where I can put all the base cards. 
I think we'll do that. Okay. All right. Next is Doug Drabeck with the Pirates. Robin Ventura with the White Sox. Um, Eric Hansen with the Seattle Mariners. I'll cut a few packs at a time. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do that next. I'll, uh, I'll just pull out four packs at a time. I'll, and that'll probably speed things up a little bit. Eric Hansen with the Mariners. Daryl Strawberry with the Dodgers. Juan Guzman with the Blue Jays. Nolan Ryan, Hall of Famer, with the Rangers. Uh, Willie McGee with the Giants. Uh, Pedro Munoz, not Pedro Martinez, the one we're looking for, but we'll have to see him at the end of a stack here, with the Twins. Steve Avery with the Braves. Greg Briley with the Seattle Mariners. S Gary Scott with the Cubs. Daryl Hamilton with the Brewers. There's a Pedro Guerrero, but not the Pedro Martinez. Looking for a, a Pedro Martinez, but Pedro Guerrero. And a Greg Cataret with the gold edition being Mike McFarlane. Mike McFarlane. All right, so let's do like, kind of like Dexter said here. I'm gonna kind of open up four packs at a time, throw them in a the stack here. To help speed up the process here. I know that's what Eric does sometimes on his channels. That way I'll just pick up one stack at a time and go through the cards. The Express was Nolan, uh, the Express was Nolan Ryan set with seven no no's. Oh, was that one? Was that the one with the seven no-nos? Did I just go buy go buy that one? Here, I'll put those scissors down there out of the way. So, all right, we'll do it that way and go through these a little bit quicker. Kurt Mailwaring with the Giants, Larry Walker with the Expos. Pete O'Brien with the Seattle Murders. Doug Jones with the Astros. Brett Butler with the Dodgers. John Burkett. Oh, sorry, let me get up here a little bit more. John Burkett with the Giants. Alan Trammell, Hall of Famer with the Tigers. Mike uh, Siosia with the Dodgers. Chuck McElroy with the Cubs. Uh... What's that? No, just stating. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I didn't think that other Ryan was the, the one. Yeah, I think they got it printed on the front of the card, if I remember right. Jeff Reardon with the Red Sox. Bruce Hurst with the Padres. Al Osuna with the Astros. Um, Carlos Baerga with the Indians. Tim Tufel with the Padres. And our Gold Leaf Edition card is Mel Hall with the New York Yankees. Okay, our next pack down here. Willie McGee with the Giants. Uh, Pedro Munoz with the Twins. Steve Avery with the Braves. Greg Briley with the Seattle Mariners. Gary Scott with the Cubs. Daryl Hamilton with the Brewers. Pedro Guerrero again with the Cardinals. Greg Cataret with the Yankees. Dave Smith, Joe Ursuluk, Vince Coleman, Gary DeSarcina, it's a DeSarcina, uh, please hit that like button, there we go, nine people watching, six thumbs up, thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me, Carlos Hernandez with the Dodgers, how you doing there Big Ray, thanks for being in the stream here with us, appreciate that, John Olerud with the Blue Jays, and the gold edition is Mike Greenwell, with the Boston Red, or the Boston Red Sox. Boston Reds. Not the sense. <laughs> Never mind. Dave Otto. I'll just read the player name off here. Chris Hoyles. Jamie Navarro. Joe Grahe. Bill Wegman. John Haven. Scott Cooper. 
Jose Lind, Willie Randolph, Roberto Alomar with the Blue Jays, Greg Olson, Sam Horn, E.J. Serhoff, Hal Morris, and our gold edition card is Eric Hansen with the Seattle Murders. Just in time to see Olrude. Oh, did you just see that Olrude I pulled out? That's cool there, Jay. Um, Greg Myers with the Blue Jays. Kevin Mitchell with the Seattle Murders. Chris Hammond. Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer. Mike Moore. Bryn Smith. Jose Guzman. Greg Jeffries. Kurt Manwaring. Larry Walker. Pete O'Brien with the Seattle Mariners, Doug Jones, Brett Butler, John Burkett, and our gold edition card is Mike Musina, Hall of Famer. Wow. Mike Musina. Oh my word. Webster, is this a Musina rookie card? Is this a Ms. M Mike Musina rookie card? Because it's only got his stats for his first year in the major leagues. I think this might be a Mucina rookie card. From what I can tell. I could be wrong, but I am almost positive this is probably one of his rookie cards. Bibster, are you hanging out with us here? Or are you out in Bibster land? I am thinking that this is a Mike Mucina rookie card. Because I see on the on the stats on the back here, he's got 1990 was with Hagerstown, Rochester, and then he came up. Or did they? Because he only played uh, 12 games. Oh really? Hmm. Let me just see something quick. I wanna. So this is a second year card. Even though, is that because it came out and it, it, his rookie year is 91? Huh. Let me, uh, I just want to, I'm not doubting you there, Victor. I just want to, because I looked, I seen the stats because I was like, man, Mike Mucina is very young in that one. I just want to check his list. I'm not doubting you at all. Murphy. M U S S I N A. Oh yeah, nineteen ninety one is his. Yep, you're right there, Webster. Mike Musina is nineteen ninety one. But that is still an awesome second year card. That's for sure. I will just put it in a. Penny sleeve for sure, plus it's gold edition, so it'll go into my Hall of Fame collection, that's for sure. Could have bought Pedro Mar bought three Pedro Martinez rookie cards, his black gold leaf lot went for under ten dollars at John Jab's channel in the past of a lot. Musina has only one true rookie card, upper deck. Um actually in the Beckett rookie book it does list uh uh, more than one there, Big Ray. Um, in the rookie book, I always refer to my rookie encyclopedia here, in case you're wondering what I'm talking about. My rookie, and it, it lists for Musina. Let me read it for you real quick. He has a few. I think it's four. Yeah, the da, 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 da. Mike Musina's rookie card is the 1990 Bowman, card number 97. The 1991 score, 383. The 1991 Ultra Update, number 4. And the 1991 Upper Deck, number 65. Is his rookie cards as per Beckett. Okay. But yeah, that is cool. Nice to know. So we've got the two rows done so far. So let me set these off to the side really quick here. We will move on to... So those are the uh, gold leaves. And uh, only one... Uh, uh, what do they call these? The gold leaf rookie card so far. Okay. 
So let's continue down to the next grouping here. I'm just going to go through and score the next one row at a time here. And it will speed the process up a little bit, I think, here. Okay, I'll just leave that. My nice little handy dandy scissors there that uh, Kevin bought for me, sent to me, a, what, I believe it was last year, from what I remember, right? Okay. So my wife is like, it's like she didn't stop working. She did retire from her job, but now she's done all kinds of spring cleaning around the house. If you kind of know what I mean there. I'm going to set these down here for now out of the way. I forgot that's where my cards are going to go. But we've got Don Mattingly. Don Mattingly. Uh, star player. Then we've got uh, Felix Jones with the Cardinals. Dave Howard. Greg Harris, Mark McGuire, star player, Joe Hesketh, Jeff Bagwell, Hall of Famer, Rick Aguilera, Tony Phillips, Tom Browning. That felt thick for some reason. I guess it's just the cards. Cal Ripken Jr. Boom! Cal Ripken. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> um... XRC Extended Rookie Card. Uh, Roger McDowell, Robin Yelt, Hall of Famer. Luis Soho, and our gold. There we go, a Hall of Famer for our Gold Leaf card. Gold Edition. Okay. Next stack in the four packs Dave Smith, John, Joe Orselek, Vince Coleman, Gary DeSarcina. Carlos Hernandez, John Olrud, there we go, John Olrud there again, Ray, Jay's Mix, Steve Finley, Steve Finley, um, thank you, Bipster, wasn't going to slow him down. Big Ray corrected that te technically 1991 upper deck is his only true. Oh no, I, I, I saw he did say that. <laughs> yes. Um, we got a checklist card here it's from Series 1, a Barry Larkin Hall of Famer, a Mike Devereaux, sliding into the base there, Alex Fernandez, Steve Buchel, uh, Mark Eichhorn, Mo Vaughn, and our gold leaf card is Jeff Bagwell, another Hall of Famer. I think that's our second Jeff Bagwell that I recall. Next is Bruce Hurst. So if you hear the vacuum cleaner running in the background, that's my wife. I don't know if she decided to shampoo. She said she wasn't going to uh, shampoo the front part of the house, but I think she is going to now. She wasn't going to, but I guess she changed her mind. Carlos Baerga, Tim Tufel, Lee Smith, Hall of Famer, Jack Armstrong. I can't see my list right now. Dickie Thon with the Rangers, Kenny Rogers, not the singer, Scott Egghorn, Tom Hank, Scott Sanderson, Ben McDonald, Bobby Thigpen, and Russ Swan with the Seattle Mariners. And our gold edition card is Mark Lemke with the Atlanta Braves. Okay, last in the next four back here, Joel Skinner. Randy Reddy with the Athletics, Dan Gladden, Dave Henderson, Dean Palmer, Dave Otto, Chris Hoyles, Jamie Navarro, Joe Grahe, Bill Wegman, John Haven, Scott Cooper, Jose Lynn, and our Gold Leaf rookie is Eddie Cabanese. Gold Leaf Rookie. Oops, sorry about that. And I think those are like one every three or four packs. And our Gold Edition card is Kevin Reamer. 
of the Texas Rangers. All right, let's go ahead and score the next four packs, and then we'll move this stack down. on this because these are like uh, tough foil cards or foil wrappers to uh, to take off here. Oh wow. Oh, a little bit of stick stickage there. Not too much. Not too much, but we'll see when we get down to the packs. Maybe it's just that one pack. I think it does feel like just that one pack. All right, so let's go into our next four packs here. Again, mainly I'm just looking for not so much the base cards, just the, the gold, the gold cards, the gold edition cards, or the ones that are a little bit nicer and a lot harder to find. All right, so Mike Lavalle, um, Frank Viola, Scott Leas, uh, Mark Leader, Brent Main, Mark Carrion, Greg Myers, Kevin Mitchell with the Seattle Mariners, Chris Hammond with the Reds, Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer, Mike Moore, uh, Bryn Smith, Jose Guzman, and Greg Jeffries. And our gold edition card is Chris Gardner with the Astros. Okay. Tony Gwynn, Hall of Famer with the Padres, our famous checklist card. Daryl Kyle, John Schmoltz, Hall of Famer. Uh, Bill, Billy Ripken, Cal Ripken's brother. Von Hayes, David Valley with the uh, Seattle Mariners. Mark Davis, uh, Mike Lavalier. Multiple cards clinging together in an unsportsmanlike way. Oh, they're, are, are you trying to say that they're clingy baseball players there, Bipster? Frank Viola, Scott Leas, Mark Leiter, Brett Main, and Mark Carrion. And our gold edition card is Kevin Gross. Is that a booger hanging out of his nose? Just kidding. <laughs> I was going to say, that's pretty gross. ta <laughs> That's my version of humor. Uh, Dwayne Ward, Gary Gaeta, Charlie LeBrant, uh, Julio Franco, Juan Samuel, Brian Harper, Joe Girardi, Wilson Alvarez, Thomas Howard, Jeff Russell, Zane Smith, Matt Noakes, Channel Favorite, Mackie Sasser, Devin White, and our gold edition card is Paul O'Neill with the Cincinnati Reds. Oh, really? Is that what it is? Lots of doubles in this box. The chipper should be coming soon. Nothing wrong with getting an extra chipper along the way. Here we go. There's Jeff Bagwell again. Whoops. Uh, Rick Aguilera, Tony Phillips, Tom Browning. There's Cal Ripken again. There are a lot of doubles, that's for sure. Roger McDowell, Robin Yount, another Hall of Famer, Luis Soho, Doug Drabeck, Robin Ventura, Eric Hansen with the Seattle Mariners, Daryl Strawberry. We're getting lots of strawberries out of our strawberry patch, that's for sure. But I haven't seen any strawberries hanging out in the strawberry patch. Juan Guzman and Nolan Ryan. Cool Nolan Ryan, and our gold edition card is Kirby Puckett, a Hall of Famer. I think we got at least two of those, so that means one for my uh, uh, wood prices are out of control, holding up a lot of jobs from $7 a board a year ago to $45 to $50 a board is insane. That is for sure there, um, Big Ray. That is for sure. So let me throw this stack down here. We went through two rounds there. Put that up here for now. 
let's go down into our next third of the box here. Our next quarter of the box, I mean, I don't know why I said third. I don't even know for. I think this could be. I don't. I lost track. I don't even. How many pack? How many? How many have we done? I don't think they're really sticking together. They're just been in these packs for so long. They're just snug as a bug. So only two gold leaf rookie cards. And so far we have not a oh, little bit of stickage in this one. Uh-oh. Hopefully that's nobody important that got dinged up in the center here. Yeah, Greg Harris. No biggie on the Greg Harris. Uh, Steve Wilson. Uh, Rich Delu Delucia with the M's. Seattle Mariners. Jose Rijo. Mike Morgan, Mark Guthrie, Randy Tomlin, Sean Dunstan, Sid Bream, Tim Naring, Alvin Davis, Steve Wilson, Greg Harris took one for the team. He's got a bad ding corner there. Oops. So uh, I don't even know if I want to save him. Got a bad dinged corner. Well, I'll save you just in case I need you for the the, the set, but hopefully not. Uh, Corey Snyder. And, oh, there we go. We got David Mead, right-hand pitcher for the Atlanta Braves, is our gold rookie. And our gold edition series is another Mike Musina. Another Mike Musina. Just put him in a, that's, since it is his second year card there, give him in another penny sleeve for Mike Musina number two. What year is Kirby Puckett on there? Oh, he's been playing for a while. Kirby Puckett must have been like in the 80s somewhere. All right. So we got Harold Reynolds with the Mariners, Tim Burke, Phil Plantier, Jeff Brantley, Juan Gonzalez, Juan Gone with the Rangers, uh, Bud Black, Sandy Alomar, Ron Gant, Frank Tanana, Kelly Gruber, Kevin Gross, Charlie Ho, Luis Polonia, and Doug Desenzo. And our Gold Leaf rookie is Tim Raines once again. Again, double city for sure. I broke my thumb, can't give a thumbs up. What? We got 11 people watching. Nine thumbs up. Can we get thumbs up to double digits? Thumbs up to double digits. Need was a scrub. Player highly touted, but didn't pan out. Uh, Mike Morgan, Mark Guthrie, Randy Tomlin, Sean Dunstan, Sid Bream, Tim Nairing, uh, Alvin Davis, Steve Wilson, Greg Harris, Jeff Balser, Ken Caminetti, our favorite checklist card, Darren Fletcher, Todd Bezinger, and our gold leaf card is gold leaf edition, Pat Kelly. Our gold edition cards. All right, next we've got Mike Moore, uh, Bryn Smith, Jose Guzman, Greg Jeffries, Kurt Mallorin, Larry Walker, Pete O'Brien with the Seattle Mariners, Doug Jones, Brett Butler. John Burkett, Alan Trammell Hall of Famer, Mike, Sco Mike Siosa, Chuck McElroy, Jeff Reardon, and our gold edition card is Mo Vaughn. Mo Vaughn, right? Let's go into our second half of this. I know it's kind of like speed ripping, but it's. I know we've seen a lot of these leaf cards. And it's always nice to go for the chase cards, that's for sure. Oops, I don't know why I did that. I'll try and take them 
in the order that I take them out of the box. How's that sound? And I think we might have two more double rounds coming up here. All right, there's round one in this group. Thompson in the front there. So when they've been packed in there for a while because you, you got the indention from the back seam of the pack. All right, go through this next round of four. Sandy Alomar, Ron Gant, um, Frank Tanana, Kelly Grover, Kevin Gross, Charlie Ho, Luis Polonia, Doug Desento, Don Mattingly, Chasing Donnie Baseball, Felix Jose, Dave Howard, Greg Harris, Mark McGuire, fan favorite, Joe Heskett with the Red Sox, and our gold edition card is Jeff Russell. Okay. Pat Shurek. All right. Um, Greg Hibbard, Scott Fletcher, Jose DeLeon, Charlie Hayes, Lenny Harris, Tony Gwynn, Hall of Famer, Checklist, Matter of fact, I keep forgetting there's somebody on the back of the checklist, but and it looks like that is a Cal Ripken Jr. Have to remember that. Looks like number eight on his uh, jersey, possibly. Forgot there's a little picture of a ball player on the back of these checklists. I have to figure out which ones they might be. Huh? Um, Daryl Kyle, John Schmoltz, Hall of Famer, Billy Ripken, Cal Ripken's brother, Von Hayes. Dave Valley with the Seattle Mariners, Mark Davis, and our gold edition card is Devin White. Devin White. Okay, we've got Bobby Thompson, Charles Nagy, Scott Servius, the manager for the Seattle Mariners, Scott Livingston, Tom Gordon, D. Gordon's dad, Andy Baines, Doug Henry, Reggie Jefferson, David Cohn, Kirby Puckett, Hall of Famer, Pat Kelly, Marvin Freeman, Ricky Henderson, Hall of Famer, Gerald Perry, and our gold edition card is Bobby Thompson. Okay, last one in this double, double stack here. Uh, Shane Mack, Mel Hall, Mark Lemke, Dennis Eckersley, the Eck Hall of Famer, Bill Spears, Dwight Gooden, uh, Junior Felix, Don Slott, Les Merce uh, Louis Mercedes, Calvin Jones with the Seattle Mariners, Pete Harnish, Mike McFarlane, uh, Mike Greenwell, and Bob Tewksbury. And our gold edition card is Roger McDowell. Okay, I think we've got two more rounds, or yeah, two more full rounds of three. I think there's five stacks by the time we're done. So we'll see. As you can see, the box is getting lower down here. But I think we do have three more rows here. This is the first of two in this round. Does this help to speed things up just a little bit here? I wonder how much of the box 92 leaf would cost. Um, $35 plus shipping, I would guess. You're pretty, pretty close there. I think that's about what I paid for these a couple of months ago. When I got them. Because I, Bipster kind of got me going on maybe trying to get these three sets. The 1990, 91, and 92. So yeah, Billy Ripken. Alright, uh, Von Hayes. Dave Valley with the Mariners, Mark Davis, Mike Lavalia, Frank Viola, Scott Leos, 
Uh, the 84 FLIR update pucket, I will take over the 85's check comps. But 85 is considered the more common rookie cards. You are correct, Bibster. I'll catch you all later. All right, take care there, Michael Heath. Thanks for popping into the stream here. Mark Leader, Brett Main, Mark Carrion, Greg Myers, Kevin Mitchell with the Mariners, Chris Hammond, and Dave Winfield. And our gold edition card is Bob Tewksbury. Okay. Pedro Guerrero. Not Pedro Martinez. Well, Pedro Martinez is only on the uh, Gold Leaf rookie cards. Anyway, and it's an error, uncorrected error card. That's the one I'm hoping to pull. Luis Soho, uh, Sean Bosky, Roberto Kelly, Milt Thompson, Jamie Navarro, Delina DeShields, Edgar Martinez. That's our first Edgar. Edgar. Edgar, and followed by another Hall of Famer, John Schmoltz, Kevin Mitchell with the Mariners, John Burkett, Kenny Rogers, and Todd Stottlemyre. And, oh, we got a San Solomon Torres for a Gold Leaf rookie card, and a Gold Edition card of Julio Franco. Julio Franco. Okay, next round here, Bill Duran, Dave Gallagher, Steve Sachs, Milt Thompson, Jay Bell, Jeff Montgomery. Boom, that was another one. Back-to-back -back packs with Edgar Martinez. Could that mean the same? <laughs> There's the Dennis Martinez. Andre Dawson, Hall of Famer. Pete Shurek, Greg Hibbert, Dave Henderson, Dean Palmer, Dave Otto, and our gold edition card is an Oral Hirschheiser with the Dodgers. A little bit of a mix-up in the collation in that pack, which is good news sometimes. Scott Sanderson with the Yankees. Ben McDonald, Bobby Thigpen, Russ Swan, Bob Malacki, George Brett, Hall of Famer, Todd Van Poppel, Will the Thrill Clark, John Franco, Todd Stottlemyre, Luis Gonzalez, Cecil Fielder, Greg Gagne, and Jose Rihu, and our Jose... Felix Jose is our gold edition card. All right, go in here, and then I'm pretty sure we've got eight packs left after these four. Could be wrong, but it does feel like there's eight more packs left in here for one more round. I think the last 36 packs we did, I ended up with five eight-pack sets. Or four. Maybe it's four. That's four. I think we got, nope, four more packs left after this. That was a little bit off. So that's what? Four, eight, twelve. Four, eight, let's see. Or eight, sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-two. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Don't mind me. But we do have four packs left, it looks like, in the box. So we are almost done. Okay. Then I'll recap what we got for... Uh, hopefully we've got in these last eight packs. We can find that Pedro... That elusive Pedro Martinez. The BC3 card, Pedro Martinez. We didn't find him. I know we didn't find him yet, right? Oh, we got four gold leaf rookie cards so far. Okay. Continue on here. We got Jay Buner with the Mariners, Rob Dibble, Milk Collier, Oral Hirschheiser, Leo Gomez, Kevin Reamer, Paul O'Neill, Ron Karkovis. Jimmy Key, uh, Paul Asamar, Brian McRae, Darren Jackson, Glenn Allen Hill, Kevin Bass, and our Dennis Eckersley Hall of Famer for our Gold Edition card. Next pack, so we've got seven more chances to try and pull the Pedro. Uh, Pedro Martinez, Cal Eldred. Uh, Chris Gardner, K. 
Kevin Tipani, Steve Farr, Mark Grace. We definitely need lots of Grace, right, Lipster? Uh, Steve Chitron, Harold Reynolds with the Seattle Mariners, Tim Burke, T Phil Plantier, Jeff Bentley, Juan Gon, Bud Black, Juan Gonzalez. Boom, back to almost back to back. We had a, a Bob Black between the two Juan Gons. All right, and then the, a Bud Black. Oh my word. What kind of collation is that? Double Bud Blacks and double Juan Gons. And then we got the Don Slot Gold Edition card. What kind of collation is that there, Leaf? Dave Otto, Chris Hoyles, Jamie Navarro, Joe Gray, Edgar Martinez, Dennis Martinez, Andre Dawson, Pat Shurek, Greg Hibbard, Scott Fletcher, Greg Olson, Sam Horn, B.G. Serhoff. Oh, boom. That might be our last gold rookie card. Todd Hundley. Gold Leaf Roof Pete. A BC7 and our gold edition is Reggie Jefferson. Well, we still have five packs left to try and get the Pedro Martinez gold leaf rookie. All right, we've got Dave Smith here, Joe Ursula, Vince Coleman, Gary Disarcina, Carlos Hernandez, John Olud, Steve Finley. Our checklist, Barry Larkin Hall of Famer, Mike Devereaux, um, Alex Fernandez, Steve Buchel, uh, Mike Acorn, Mo Vaughn, and our gold edition card is Cal Eldred. Cal Eldred? Okay. So let's see here. Um, we got four packs left. Then I can put the packs, or the open stuff, back in the box here. And then that'll get us closer to being ready to go into the 2021 Heritage Blaster Box for some newer product. So we'll do a, a, a throwback Thursday, a newer, uh, a newer product, went through the Ken Griffey Jr. stuff. We are having fun in the channel today, I think. You guys having fun with me? There we go. We've got that there. Let me get this one in here. All right. We've got this stack in here. We've got this stack in here. Oops, I think we put it this way. It's pretty good repacking that box, huh? <laughs> All right. So let's get into the last packs here. Oops, what did I do that for? How many days? 291 Flare live streams at Old Faithful. <laughs> uh, we will have the sunshine there, that's for sure there, John. But um, if, if you were to be able to get me the cards to do that, I could probably attempt it. I could probably, and, and, but you want me to do it near Old Faithful? Hold on a second. I'll get to your commercial break there, uh, John. <laughs> I didn't miss any other super chats. Stop the show. Ding, ding. I see it there, Webster. I'm just, uh, John caught me right in the middle of some pack openings, so. John Fishman with a $2 super chat. I didn't miss anything else. I, I've been kind of glancing up at the chat. Please hit that like button and ring that bell. Okay, I didn't miss anything else, so we got the $2 super chat from John Fishman. Let me get you in here, John, for your two entries in the super chat wheel of names. All right. I'll put that $2 donation toward me and my Mrs. Vacation Fund here coming up. 
Okay, let me save that. We do now have 100 and names in the Wheel of Names for the month of June. 108 names. It says, I remember getting a 91 leaf pack with doubles of every card, but the order was Smith Jones, Franco Bonilla, Smith Jones, Franco Bonilla. Oh my word. Kind of like the pack I just had a little while ago. Did you see that one there? That was crazy. That was uh, definitely um, not that. Uh, at least I don't think I seen that way. I don't think so, Jay's Mix. <laughs> Sometimes they just like to kid around in the channel there. But definitely, they sure mark up prices. Okay. Let me get a sip of water real quick before we get into the last four packs, and I'll go through and do a review. So we got four more chances to try and get that Pedro Martinez uncorrected error card. I wonder if Pedro actually saw the card and said, Hey, you guys, you got it wrong. That would have been kind of interesting, I think. Alan Trammell, Hall of Famer. Mike Siosa, Chuck McElroy, Jeff Reardon, Bruce Hurst, um, Al Osuna, Carlos Baerga, Tim Tufo, Lee Smith, Hall of Famer, Jack Armstrong, Dickie Thon, Kenny Rogers, not the singer, Scott Acorn, Ike Erickson, sorry, and Tim Henke, and the gold edition card is Wilson Alvarez. Three packs to go. This one is Delino De Shields. Another Edgar Martinez. Dennis Martinez. We need the Pedro Martinez. Andre Dawson, Hall of Famer. Pete Shore. Greg Hibbard. Scott Fletcher. Jose DeLeon. Charlie Hayes. Lenny Harris. Tony Gwynn, Hall of Famer. Checklist. Who's on the back of this checklist? Looks like Cal Ripken Jr. again. Daryl Kyle and John Schmoltzy, Hall of Famer. Uh, and then let's check this one really quick. The gold edition is Darren Jackson. And the Schmoltzy is a uh, one, two, three, probably a fourth year card on the John Schmoltzy, Hall of Famer. All right. Next to last pack. If we don't get the Pedro here, maybe it'll be last pack magic. Steve Finley. Oops, sticky. Uh, a checklist card, and it looks like, I don't know, is that Tim Reans there with the White Sox? Is that Tim Reans in here? I'll have to check on the trading card database and see who's on the backs of the checklist. The Barry Larkin Hall of Famer, Mike Devereaux, Alex Fernandez, Steve Buchel, Mark Eichhorn, uh, Mo Vaughn, uh, Bobby Thompson, Charles Nagy, Scott Servius, uh, Scott Livingston, and Tom Gordon, D. Gordon's dad, Andy Baines, and our gold leaf, our gold edition card is Steve Buchel. So, time for a last pack magic. Uh, are you going to sell packs tomorrow since you won't be live Saturday? Just wondering. Um, no, we're just going to do our regular Hall of Fame Friday to end up the week. And then, um, yeah, this was kind of last minute planning, but my daughter wanted to do this for my wife. And we're having a couple, of, a couple of family members over and a couple of friends just to celebrate uh, Cindy's retirement before we head out on our vacation on Monday. So yeah, unfortunately, no live stream this Saturday, but we will we'll make up for it when, when I get back from vacation. How's that sound? We will work on uh, trying to get some more pack stock in uh, between, uh, at least starting in July, most likely. Um, just so you do know, I'll give you a little sneak peek preview here. Uh, me, Robert Hain, and Bipster are, are, are going cold turkey on buying any new product. Um, we're just going to enjoy uh, taking some time in the month of June, um, 
looking at what we have, sorting our cards, organizing things. The only thing we're going to basically buy is probably um, just supplies like binders and penny sleeves and top loaders and things like that. You got to kind of keep an eye on that stuff because it's starting to go through the roof because so many people are buying this stuff. And it is in short demand, so you do have to hunt around for the good prices. They're trying to price gouge that stuff also. But let's get through this last pack here so we can continue on with our content for today. So Lee Smith, Hall of Famer, Jack Armstrong, Dickie Thon, Kenny Rogers, not the singer, Scott A. Erickson, Tom Henke, Scott Sanderson, Ben McDonald, Bobby Figpen, Russ Swan with the Seattle Mariners, Bob Malicki, George Brett, uh, Todd Van Poppel, Paul Molitor. Oh, we only got one gold edition card left, and it's a Cincinnati Red. So I don't think we got our Pedro Martinez gold rookie card. That's okay. Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer, and our last gold edition card is Joe Oliver. Joe Oliver. So let me set these in the box here really quick here. I will go through real quickly here and highlight through our our gold edition cards we got here, which I think there was a bunch of duplicates, and I'll put these in the front real quick. We did get uh, one, two, three, four, five uh, gold leaf rookie cards. Looks like we've got uh, BC 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, wow. It's like they put them in, in box sequence. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and they're actually in numerical order, believe it or not. So that part of the collation, I think they did. They probably put seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I believe it's a twenty-two card set. So they probably put five or six in a box, depending on how the collation and the packs packs went. But interesting for that one for sure. We had Solomon Torres, David Neat. Eddie Tobinies, Matt Stairs, and Todd Hunley. So I guess I missed getting the box that would have had the Pedro Martinez on it, because it would have been probably, uh, the, it's BC3 is that one. So that's interesting for sure. Okay, so I'm going to actually put those there, and let's go through these really quick here. Of course, we did get the, the two Mike Musina second year cards there, which they look pretty nice. Okay, then we got the uh, Joe Oliver, Steve Buchel, Darren Jackson, Wilson Alvarez, Cal Eldred, Reggie Jefferson, Don Slott, Dennis Eckersley, Felix Jose, Oral Hershiser, Julio Franco, Bob Tewksbury, Roger McDowell, Bob, Bobby Thompson, Devin White, Jeff Russell, Mo Vaughn, Pat Kelly, Tim Reigns, Kirby Puckett, Paul O'Neill, Kevin Gross, Wes Gardner, Kevin Reamer, Mark Lemke, Jeff Bagwell, Robin Yount, uh, Eric Hansen, Mike Greenwell, Mel Hall, Mike McFarlane, and Thomas Howard, Thomas Howard, and Bud Black for our gold edition cards. Let's see, Series 1 had half a set, and Series 2 had the other half of the Gold Leaf Rookies, sir. Oh, okay. But yeah, probably Series 1 would have had the first half. But we just didn't get the right cards. That's what I was hoping for. I saw Series 1 had the, the Pedro Martinez, which is card number 3. And that's why we got, what was it, uh, 7 through 11. But yeah, I did look up on the trading card database. That's why I was hoping we could have found the Pedro in here, but we did not. But we did get two Mike Musina second year cards, which is nice to be able to add to my Hall of Fame collection, that's for sure. So other than that, I will set this aside, and we will get ready to get into part three of our four-part show today. Let me set this off without dropping it, hopefully, onto my sorting bin here. Okay, 
did not want to drop that, that's for sure. So let's get into part three. That's my checklist for that. I did, so it's nice and handy to go to the trading card database. I have a, a, a you can set up an account free there. You can keep track of all of your, uh, your collections and stuff. They'll tell you the values and stuff. So this year, I, I, I like to do it because I, I can print out all the Hall of Famers and pull them out. Just so you do know, in the 1992 Leaf set, there are two variations of each card. And the variation is just has to do with the copyright. One has a period, and one has a comma, or something like that. If I remember right, Bipster might be able to tell me for sure. Robert Hain is in the house. We've got 10 people watching, 10 thumbs up. We did a good goal today, like that. And then um, it does list in the complete series for the gold rookies baseball, there was 24. So I'm thinking they had 12 in the, in, from what I remember, there was 12 in series one and then 12 in series two. So there's 12 in each series on the gold baseballs. They're numbered BC1 through BC24. You had Chad Curtis, Brett Gates, Pedro Martinez is the only one that had the uncorrected error. Then the Kenny Lofton, uh, Turk Wendell, Mark Cutton, Todd Hunley, Matt Stairs, Ed Tobanese, David Need, Salman Torres, Brett Boone, Johnny Ruffin, Ed Martel, Rick Trilicek, Raul Mondese, Pat Mahomes, Dan Wilson, Donovan Osborne, Dave Silvestri, Gary Saracino, Saracina, Denny, Denny Neagle, Steve Halsey, and John Doherty. That is the stats from there. Well, let's go into part three, and then we'll do the Bipster box after this one. Look for limited edition exclusive 1972 Topps baseball card stamps. Let me go ahead and score this to get it open here. Get this show on the road, see if we can finish a little bit afternoon. The only thing my wife wants to do this afternoon, she wants me to take her shopping. And then tonight I have to finish off my yard, my yard work. I cut the grass the day before yesterday. Yesterday was a church day, so there was no go for that. And she don't want she wants me to do it when it's not as hot. Of course, today it's only it's only 72 outside. I think it might get up to 80, but hopefully not. But again, we're gonna go through these. There's eight packs in here, or seven packs plus one pack. I like how they do that. Seven packs plus one extra pack. Nine cards per pack, 72 cards per box. I'm trying to find uh, puzzle back cards number 20 and 248 to complete a set of Topps Heritage low number. So that is my goal. And if not, I'll have to try and find them somewhere else. But we're going to go ahead and open up this Tops 2021 Baseball Heritage. Okay, so we will go through these and see what we can find here. No, let's see. No, I'll put them here. We'll put them here so I can put the cards somewhere over in this area, depending on what we get. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, da, da, da. It's going to be a very long June. Why is that, Robert? Because we can't buy anything new. Is that why you're? Is that why you're saying it's going to be a long June? Amen, Robert. Get me a sip of water to get rolling here, and let's go into pack number one. And I'm still working on my high number series. So let's see who we got here. Yasmani Grandal. Uh, Blake Trennan with the Dodgers. That was with the White Sox. Jose Altuve with the Astros. Joe Kelly with the Dodgers. Javier Baez with the Cubs. Uh, boyhood Photos of the Stars. Will Smith. Roberto Clemente, the great one, G-O-21, 
put the Roberto Clemente there. Brandon Workman with the Phillies and Pablo Lopez. Let's see. No, let's see. There's supposedly versions with no stars on the front. Not that. Uh, let's see if we got any high numbers in here. No high numbers, no short prints, because they do identify the short prints, again, by printing it here, whether it's a color swap or a, vari a variation, uniform, something of that nature, if it is a subset. So nothing there, just the Roberto Clemente for an insert out of that one. And I was hoping we could have got a hot box, but I guess that did not, uh, did not happen, but that's okay. As you would notice, the very first pack, because every pack would have a purple chrome card in it. And that one didn't have one. So Jonathan Shoup with the Tigers. Mike Miner with the Athletics. Uh, Max Kepler with the Twins. Lucas Giolito with the White Sox. I'm looking for the stars as we go through. John Birdie with the Marlins. Uh, Justin Upton with the Angels. The Willie Mays World Series MVP Award. The Max Kepler in action, and the Miguel Castro with the Mets. And again, I'm looking for the two puzzle pieces, number 20 and 248. See, no high number, no short prints. Should just do it in one fell swoop when I go through, right? Pack number three. Donald is an Eskimo. I've never really heard anyone say, I hope it doesn't get up to 80. <laughs> no, I, I like 70s to low 80s, but when it gets close to 90, that's getting a little warm for me. I know you guys live in warm country, but I do like the heat, but not too much heat. Sandy Alcantara with the Marlins. Uh, Kyle Gibson with the Rangers. Uh... Ryan McBroom with the Royals, Framber Valdez with the Astros, Marco Gonzalez with the Seattle Mariners, Kenley Jansen with the Dodgers, Jordan Alvarez with the Astros, the uh, Tim Anderson in action, and the Miles Straw. We are not getting anything in these packs yet. Got to get a high number here. Oh, boom, got the number 500, the last in the high number series. So that's a good sign. Yeah, no, nothing else. You get that high number into a penny sleeve for now. Put that right here in my high number stack. Put Roberto over here. Well, I'm sure we'll get some other kind of insert to hide in there. All right, this is pack number four, halfway through the box. Let's see if we can find some heat. Let's see if we can find some heat. Scott Kingry with the Phillies. Luke Voigt with the Yankees. Nomar Mazzaro with the White Sox. Chad Cool with the Pirates. Jeff McNeil with the Mets. We got a 2021 rookie stars for the National League of American League. Debbie Garcia with the Yankees. Ian Anderson with the Braves. And Christian Javier with the Astros. Matt Olson with the boyhood photos of the stars. Joey Bart in action. And Bo Bichette with the Blue Jays. Let's see, any high numbers or variations? Nada, nada, oh my word. What a dud of a box so far. Only halfway through the pack, so. Donald working on his high knees, high numbered, high numbered series. High knees. Sounds funnier. <laughs> Sonny Gray with the Reds, Nick Solak with the Rangers, 2020 National League batting leaders, uh, first is Juan Soto with the Nationals, second is Freddie Freeman with the Braves, and third is Marcel Azuno with the Braves. Then we got Brian Anderson with the Marlins, Ronald Guzman with the Rangers, Brad Keller with the Royals, 
There we go. We got a then and now Jim Palmer and Garrett Cole. And we've got a Mike Trout in action card and an Alec Mills with the Cubs. All right, so three of the kind of better cards, the, the Heine numbers. And then and now, and Roberto Clemente. For, so any high numbers are short prints. Got 170 for the puzzle piece. That's it. Looking for 20 and 248. 20 and 248. All right, pack number six. Three fourths of the way through the box. We've got John Means with the Orioles. Pedro Severino with the Orioles, Josh Bell with the Pirates, DJ Lemieux with the Yankees, Boyhood Photos of the Stars rookie card for Chris Bubik, uh, Aaron Nola with the Phillies, Jack Flaherty with the Cardinals, Jesus Sanchez with the Marlins, and Colton Wong with the Cardinals. Okay. Check our. It looks like we got a puzzle card. Three ninety four. No. There's a high number, and we got three twelve. No. Nope. Twenty and two forty eight people, and three ninety nine. So one high number card. So that's two. Should get at least. Usually you get on average at least three high number cards. No, uh -oh, I got a UPS package coming today. Okay, so 454 and 500. I think I've got the 500 already. I don't know about the 454. Pack number seven. With a Mariner's bandana. <laughs> well, maybe I can wear that batting helmet that Boomslang sent me. There we go. 2021 rookie stars. Luis Garcia and... Uh, Christian Pache, okay. Uh, Brandon Lowe with the Rays, Shane Green with the Braves, Julio Tehran with the Angels, Howie Kendrick with the Nationals, Jorge Soler in action, Keston Hero with the Brewers, Yadier Molina in action, and Matt Chapman with the Athletics. All right, let's see. Any high numbers? I think I go faster when I just look through real quick. 18. We missed it. Needed number 20. 123. No short prints and no high numbers. Last pack magic maybe for the big hit in the box. Let us see, said the blind man to his deputy wife. Wife. We got 2021 rookie stars for the minutes, Ali Sanchez and Franklin Colome, a catcher and pitcher. Maybe they're the team. Maybe he catches for Franklin all the time. I don't know. Uh, Jorge Soler with the Royals, Michael Wacha with the Mets, Adam Wainwright with the Cardinals, uh, 2021 rookie stars for the Astros, uh, Enoli Paredes, pitcher, um, Blake Taylor, pitcher, and Taylor Jones, first baseman and outfielder. Then next we have Matt Chapman in action, Ian Happ with the Cubs, Jose Barrios in action, and Zach Davies. Wow, all we got was two insert cards and two high numbers so far. And 114 and 199. Well, that does it for my Topps Heritage Baseball for 2021. So I'll have to try those, find those two cards probably on eBay or something for to, to finish my Heritage Base set. Card number 20 and card number 248. All right. So that ends up our content for part three. Me. Plus that heritage box over there for future use for a different project. Um, so what we got was the, the Roberto Clemente. I think I might have this one already from the best of my knowledge, as far as I can remember. 
and then, um, but then and now, the then and now, Jim Palmer. I can't remember if I've got one of these or not. Jim Palmer, Hall of Famer, Roberto Clemente, the two high numbers, and the base cards. So let me set these off to the side here, and we will get ready for the Bipster box. We will get ready for the Bipster box next. Okay, then we'll get ready to finish up this stream for today. Then we will have Hall of Fame Friday tomorrow. Hall of Fame Friday tomorrow. And we will be doing Blue Brock. Give you a little sneak peek as to the first card in my Blue Brock set. I don't have a lot of different cards for Blue Brock. I might have some nicer ones, but I didn't really have time to go through my, my better cards box. But we will go through some Lou Brock cards and do his Hall of Fame Friday tomorrow, along with um, my, I think it's my last installment. Nope, oh, I got two more installments left in the Walk Off Wax series. Unless I did both tomorrow. Haven't decided yet on that. But other than that, that would end up all my product except for one box that's probably hanging out in the back there that we might do a break we can do it as a paid break maybe we'll see down the road when i get back from vacation the not so hot box bummer donald better luck and next time when you buy anything new yep it won't be till july donald i have to do an errand uh, can i please guess early 23 26 and 30 and I pick Hall of Famers. Okay there, Webster. We got you covered. We got you covered. We got you covered there, Webster. We can do that. Let me, um, I'm going to move my picture up to the top here. As we get ready for this next part here. Let me, uh, scooch that down a little bit. Let me, um, Get the Bipster box ready here. Um, I will get my wheel ready to pick um, the three packs we're going to work on. Who is that other pen? Must have been that other pen. That was the leaky one. I don't know anymore. As long as I don't start getting ink all over my hand again. <laughs> yeah, I think it must have been the other pen. Must have a leaky pen there. Okay. You, everybody knows what I'm getting ready for now. Uh, stars. Hall of Fame. Don't you have a... A bolo tie? Um, I think I do if I can find it, but I don't know if I'm going to wear it there. I don't want to look too Western. I'm not I'm not a Western kind of person, but you know what? You never know. Maybe I will bring a bolo tie. <laughs> I need to get one of those bolo ties with uh, the uh, arrowhead on it. That would be a cool bolo tie. Maybe I'll find one in one of the shops when we get there. But we will see for sure. So let me get things ready here real quick for our wheel of names. Okay. And then we will get ready to choose three packs. Okay, let me uh, refresh the live chat really quick here. And we will be picking, uh, choose three numbers from 1 to 58. Choose three numbers, 1 to 58, okay? And we will get ready to work on this last portion of our stream for today. Um, so let me get this all set up really quick. Our tipster box is set up 1 through 52 here. Actually, hold on. Let me get this up here. Okay. 
There we go. I can see everything right there on the Wheel of Names. You can see the numbers 1 through 58. Go ahead and do that. You have until when my computer says 1201. We will commence to spinning. Let me shuffle the numbers here seven times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, we're ready there. So choose... John, he has one covered and ringtones. Oh, yeah. Good thing you remind me of that, too. I got to turn the volume on. Turn the volume up. The volume is up. We're going to get ready to spin in about a minute and a half. So we got Bipsters, 23, 26, 30, and Hall of Famers. All right. And then we have uh, Big Rays, 24, 33, 48. Well, let me get my wife's in here because Bipster insists that I add my wife in here. Okay, I've got mine in there for my wife, 12, 18, and 55. Just so you know, I choose the same numbers every day. That's what she told me to put in there. <laughs> Uh, 11, 22, and 30. Oh, I like that combination there. 11, 22, and 33. We're socializing with Sonia. And the first person that chats in at 12.01, we will come in. I'll do a refresh, and all choices will be locked in. No late entries today. i got to try and finish up the stream here pretty, pretty soon. Okay. Got that all those. I can throw that note away. All right. So it is 12.01. I need somebody to give me a thumbs up in the chat. Somebody give me a thumbs up in the live chat. And then I'll do my refresh and we will start choosing the packs we're going to open today. Okay, chatting in. There we go. All right, all entries are in. Let's get ready to spin the wheel. Pack number two. Anybody choose number two? I don't believe so. No pack two. So no winner yet. Let's go on to... Hold on a second here. Um, all right. So no pack number two. Let's spin for our second pack. Pack number 18. I know at least one person. That's one of my wife's numbers. That's one of my, what? let's see, who do we got? Anybody for 18 besides my wife? Robert, Robert got one. So my wife and Robert. And let me go and we will spin for our last pack. And the winner is going to be pack 
Pack number one. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's weird. Now, today we're in the front of the box. We are in the front of the box today. Let me get that closed and out of the way here. So, we are good to go there. Put that away for now. Put this guy away for now. Well, not actually away. I'm going to set him over here. Get my Hall of Fame cheat list up here. There we go. Get my Hall of Fame cheat list up there. Oh, we got to uh, leave this here. Uncork the lid here. Oops, hold on. Got to scoot this forward a little bit. Actually, it's not too hard, really. We can leave that there because they're all in the front of the box. So we got pack number one. Pack number two. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 15, 16, 17, 18. Just missed that thick one there. Okay. So the only one that guessed so far, Bertie, and that was because Bipster was taken off, is Bipster. So let me do a refresh real quick here. Let me give do your preview really quick so you can you might be able to make a decision. I don't know. I'm seeing six of the roughly 60 cards. Okay, so we have a Greg Maddox, a Joe Morgan, and a Max Carey on this side of the packs. And then we have a Yes Money Grandal, a Will the Thrill Clark, and a Jake Arietta. Okay, now I need you to put your guesses in for either Stars or Hall of Famers. Again, put in either stars or Hall of Famers, and I will get um, Robert and Bip and my wife into the Wheel of Names. Robert Hone, Hain, sorry, Robert Hain. Let me get Robert in here real quick with his entry. And, oh wait, you know what? Yeah, okay. I'll just. Let me get Robert in here real quick, and then I'll put my wife's name in here real quick. So stars or HOF, and we will go, let me finish and then I'll tell you when we will turn the clock off. Okay. All right, we've got Robert in here for his entry. And then and my wife in for her entry. All right, and we will save this. We're at 110 entries. So hopefully today we'll get some people that'll guess either Star or Hall of Fame correctly. We'll see who that might be to get their bonus entry. Okay. So we've got, uh, so far we got Big Ray in with Hall of Famers. Um, we've got Robert Hain in for Hall of Famers. All right. And we will go until uh, 12.08, okay? We've got nine people watching, 11 thumbs up that I can see. Do you guys see more than 11 thumbs up? So I might need to refresh my chat. Uh, but as soon as my computer says 12.09, I will ask somebody to chat. Not yet. So, so far we had Bipster in with Hall of Famers, I believe. Didn't he? Didn't Bipster say uh, uh, Hall of Famers? So, so far everybody is guessing for Hall of Famers. Bipster, Big Ray, and Robert. James Phillips is choosing stars. All right. We've got uh, less than a minute to go for the 12.09 cutoff. For the 12.09 cutoff. And as we're waiting, let me take the, the cards out of the packs. Get them set up, ready to go. Okay. 
Okay. All right, and one more pack. We'll be ready to go. It is 12.09. Socializing in with Sonia is the last entry. Now I'm refreshing the chat. And we will get ready to go through and count and see if we get more stars than we get Hall of Famers. Let me just get these team bags out of the way. Ready to be reused when needed. Yes, I do re I don't just throw these away. I reuse them until they can't be used no more. <laughs> I am a a reuse aholic. Matter of fact, I got I had to get rid of some of my old shipping packaging because it was just becoming too overwhelming. Uh, just pulled a Michael Jordan out of an 89 hoops I got in the mail from you today. Thanks again. Oh, no problem there, James. Glad to hear. Yeah, let me know when you guys open up some of your stuff and you find some awesome cards in there. That is cool. It just always seems when we see a Maddox in the pack, there are five Maddox in a row. Reason I went with Hall of Famers. Ah, okay. <laughs> that makes sense there. All right, so we're going to have this down here. We are set here. And let's get ready to rock and roll, okay? I'll try and grab the stacks here. Oh, we got a little mini hanging out there of Harold Beans. So we got Max Carey. Max Carey is a Hall of Famer. Max Carey. Chris Bryant, star. Sorry, I got to. I'm gonna move these just so we have a little space. That's because I have this one, this box down here. It raises me up a little bit more, but that's fine. We can do this. We can do this. So stars, Hall of Famers, uh, Paul DeJong, star. Uh, Carl Ferrillo, Ferrillo, star. Max Carey, Hall of Famer. Uh, Jay Bruce, star. Coco Crisp, star. Warren Spawn, Hall of Famer. Chris Carpenter, star. Jake Arietta, star. Jave Torborg, Torborg, I don't think he's a Hall of Famer. Nope. Star player. Mel Ott is a Hall of Famer. Yep, Melvin Ott is not, is the, so all the other ones, the only O's are O'Day, O'Malley, and O'Rourke. And Mel Ott, he's the only non-Irish in the, in the bunch. Well, I don't know. He, he might have been Irish. I don't know for sure. He's got an O for his name. Trey Mancini, star. Jose Altuve, star. John Pesky. John Pesky is a star player. Chris Carpenter, star. Chris Carpenter. Ron Kittle. Ron Kittle. Mel Ott. Hall of Famer. Jake Arietta. Joe Morgan's a Hall of Famer. Yep. Tom Niedenfjord with the Seattle Mariners. I'll go with my Seattle Mariners and Tom Niedenfjord. Considered in the star group. Okay, we've got a Harold Baines Hall of Famer. A mini card, but still a Hall of Famer card. Uh, Wade Boggs Hall of Famer. Dave Parker and Ryan Sandberg. I think this is a double. I'll explain this. So Sandberg and uh, Parker. Oh, Parker's not a Hall of Famer. Okay, so just Ryan Sandberg is a Hall of Famer. Sandberg, Hall of Famer. Fernando Valenzuela, star player. Star player. Will the Thrill Clark, star player. Star player. Dale Murphy. Star player, Dale Murphy, Joe Morgan, Hall of Famer, Ruby Marquard is a Hall of Famer, Max Carey, Hall of Famer, Max Carey, Elmer Flick, Elmer Flick, Hall of Famer, Elmer Flick, Will the Thrill Clark, Star player Greg Maddox, Greg Maddox, 
Greg Maddox, let's see, George Kelly, oh, Andrew Benatendis, a star player, possibly a Hall of Famer when he retires. George Kelly. Hall of Famer. Okay, kind of looking close there as we go into the stretch here. Jay Thompson, you were a little bit later. <laughs> you you fell asleep at the wheel again, like like Bipster does sometimes. <laughs> Paul Goldschmidt, uh, star player. George Springer, Anthony Rizzo, star player. Al Tuve, Nolan Arenado, Clayton Kershaw. Justin Verlander, Max Carey, Hall of Famer, and we've got Andre Dawson, Duke Snyder, Hank Greenberg, Wade Boggs, Wade Boggs, Ryan Howard, Howard's just a star player, Ryan Braun, Luis Castillo with the Reds, Mike Fires with the Athletics, Yasmani Grandal. Well, I don't know for sure, but I think the the stars may have it today. But we will do the count to make it official. But it looks like the stars might have it. So I'm back off rest off for rest of day until Tuesday. Oh, wow, you don't go back to work till next Tuesday? That's pretty good there, Jay. Got a super long weekend coming up, huh? So let's see. We're going to count up the, the stars, and then we'll do the Hall of Famers, but I don't know. I think James Phillips and Sonia are the only two that chose the, the stars. But let's count them up and let's see what we get here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37 stars. 37 stars. Thirty-seven stars. Okay. And now let's count up the Hall of Famers. I like that. Big Ray says, I need to do the opposite of any decisions I make today. When went with high numbers on the wheel and you get low numbers. Went with Hall of Famers and it looks like stars will definitely have it. Opposite day. I guess so. Correct birthday on Saturday. Took Friday off. Oh, correct. Birthday on Saturday. Took Friday Friday off. Normally off Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. That is, that's cool. So you get a long weekend, huh? <laughs> that's pretty cool. So let's count up the Hall of Famers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. A little bit not close there. 28 Hall of Famers. So, the stars won. It looks like Socializing with Sonia and James Phillips won the free entries. So, Socializing with Sonia. No. It this way and James Phillips I can get both you in one fell swoop pair socializing with Sonia and James Phillips okay and hopefully let me get this saved really quick here, and I'm going to make one last quick announcement and see who's still here. Okay. 
So it looks like the stars won. They got their entries. And now it says there's 10 people watching and 12 thumbs up. So let's see who are the loyal people still left. Okay, yeah, 49, almost 50, feeling old. Wait, uh, let's see, in a little over a month, I'm going to turn 63. So you're not old yet there, Jay, but don't worry. It'll be there before you know it. <laughs> okay, so let me do me a favor. Do not chat anything yet. Do not chat anything yet. And I'm going to do a refresh on my chat. And for those that know how to follow directions, for those that know how to follow, oh, somebody's chatting still. For those that are following directions in the chat right now, everybody get your thumbs up emoji ready. Get your thumbs up emoji ready. Okay, I'm going to only say it once, but get your thumbs up emoji ready. All right, so from now until 12.22, whoever, Jay, you keep, <laughs> no more texting in the chat. No more texting in the chat. I'm going to refresh one last time. Only for those that follow directions on this chat right here. If you put one thumbs up emoji in the chat, you will get one free entry and only one per, per person in the chat. Put one thumbs up emoji in the chat for a bonus entry in today's Wheel of Names. So, and I will let that go until 1222. Okay, so as long as you're Yours says 10, 12, 1221 or 1222. One thumbs up emoji in the chat. You will get a free bonus entry today only. Okay, so time is running out. One thumbs up emoji for a free bonus entry at the end of the chat here before I end the stream. Okay, last chance entry. Last chance entry. So Big Ray's got one. James Phillips has got a bonus entry. All right. We'll see who else gets in. It says 11 people watching and 12 thumbs up. Let's see who's willing to follow directions for a free bonus entry in the monthly giveaway. Jay Thompson's in there. So we got three people with three bonus which each get a bonus entry into the Wheel of Names. We are at, um, let me see how many names we are here for, the month of June, 112 entries so far, and we'll see who else I get to add in here. So Big Ray's Ball Cards and Auctions has a thumbs up emoji. James Phillips has a thumbs up emoji. Jay Thompson has a thumbs up emoji. Let me get a sip of water while we're waiting. It is 1222. So the entry time is almost coming to a close. So, so far, and I think, unless somebody's putting a chat in right now, Big Ray's Ball Cards and Auctions, Rippin' for Ripkins, I'll let you get in with a freebie here. You just missed the cut up, but you did follow the directions on it. A thumbs up emoji. Tell you what, I'm feeling generous. I will go till 1225. Then I got to end the stream because my wife wants me to take her shopping. We'll probably go out to eat lunch somewhere too. But twelve. And thanks for popping in there, Rippin' for Ripkins. Rippin' for Ripkins. A, a channel name after my number two PC player. Again, I do Ken Griffey Jr. and Cal Ripken Jr. as my two main PC players. So that's why sometimes if we bump into each other in some of the channels there, Ripken for Ripkins, that is, you're, you're, 
I don't know if you're as much an arch nemesis as I am on Ripkins, but Ken Griffey Jr. and Cal Ripken Jr.'s, they're my two main PC players. So we've got, uh, all right, we've got less than a minute to go. Big raise ball cards and auctions. James Phillips, Jay Thompson, and Rippin for Ripken so far are going to be the four entries into uh, into the Wheel of Names. And John, <laughs> John Chaps made it in here at 12.24. Congratulations there, John. You got a free entry in my June giveaway. Thanks for stopping by, John, and paying a visit. Appreciate you being here, brother. <laughs> totally surprised me. I, I was getting ready to put the names in, and I was like, whoa, John Jabs just popped into the stream right at the tail end. So let me add John in here as we add, oops, as we add the names to the Wheel of Names. Ah. All right. And thanks there, Big Ray. You are the last one in the cutoff there. So, oh, come on. It's not cooperating with me. I get to pass this alive. Thank you for all your support, people. Wheel of Names. Let me get these entries in here really quick. I'm going to do some editing because I just did a bulk copy and paste, and I'll have to edit out some of the not needed stuff here. Yeah, I like just that emoji. And that emoji. <laughs> I don't need the emojis in the in the in the stream. I got Big Ray, James Phillips, Jay Thompson, Ripkin for Ripkins. And the past is alive. I think that's your first time you entered into one of my contests there, John. But I know you said you usually have a hard time. At, let's see, what is it, like almost 3.30 on the East Coast? So you must have popped in at the end of your workday. Hey there, Donald and Mark. Appreciate everybody being here, and I thank you for all that everybody means in the channel here. You just, you just missed all my content there, uh, uh, John. Let's see, we've been live for two and a half hours, and I'm getting ready to wrap things up. Again, just so everybody knows, I will not be doing a Saturday stream, as it's going to be my wife's uh, uh, retirement barbecue party. We're having at our house here, having a few friends over, and a, some family members to celebrate my wife's retirement last Saturday. And then on Monday, we, get, we head out on our road trip to um, Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park. So yeah, hopefully you all have a great and wonderful day. Let me open up my camera a little bit here so you can see me a little bit more. Where are my Seattle Mariners cap? This is my, my Griffey cap, by the way. See Griffey's number on the side there. This is his Hall of Fame induction cap. Uh, or not necessarily that, but it is Got Ken Griffey autograph on the back, embroidered in there, not signed. <laughs> and uh, but we are having fun. I appreciate everybody that popped into the stream today, in the beginning, throughout the middle, or at the end. And again, John, thank you for being in here, brother. It means a lot to me. Somebody that has uh, a bunch of subscribers to pop into one of us little guys' streams. But I do appreciate everything and everything that everybody does. So other than that, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to sign off for today. My wife is anxious to go to the store and eat some lunch probably. So this has been Donald Blomdahl, Hall of Fame Veteran Sports Cards and Collectibles. Having been live to you this throwback Thursday, opening the Leaf 1992 Series 1 36-pack opening. And then uh, I did do a... Uh, Ken Griffey Jr. mini preview 
If you want to catch and watch that a little bit earlier in the stream, that was actually right after my intro, my 10 minutes jumping in and getting people into the Wheel of Names for those first in the live stream. And then uh, after that, we opened up a Topps 2021 Heritage Blaster Box. Didn't find too, anything too earth-shattering in that. And then we went through the Bipster Box. Three more packs of sweetness here in case you're wondering, John, what we do here. That is the Bipster Box. We pull these out and then we see how many Hall of Famers or how many stars we get out of the packs. All right. So other than that, um, you all have a great, wonderful day. I'll be back tomorrow morning, same bat time, same bat channel, 10 a.m. with our Hall of Fame Friday. Tomorrow's uh, biography is going to be Lou Brock. We're going to be showing off some of my Lou Brock uh, baseball card collection uh, for my Hall of Famers. And then, um, yeah, we'll have a little bit more fun in the channel. We will do the Pipster box at the end, and we'll probably do another episode of Walk Off Wax. I think your brother did these on his channel there, uh, uh, John, the Walk Off Wax Mini Blasters. This is finishing up my second round of five Walk Off Wax Blaster Boxes, or they call them the, the Mini Blasters, the Mini Blasters. And we'll do one of these tomorrow also before we finish off with the Bipster Box. So other than that, you all take care, Lord bless you, and have a great and wonderful day. And as Bipster says in all of his video endings, be blessed. Bye for now. Take care and support your local team. Bye for now. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by today. It has been fun as always.